that when that first story came out, it seems like people were talking about it, but this one just kind of went away. And I was kind of wondering what you thought about it. Like, did you expect yeah. this story to have a little bit more legs than it has so far? You know, I, you know, let me, let me just say this. I, I think the first story, uh, if, if this story was the first story, especially the seven and a half million dollar deal, the payout that Vince had with a, a alleged former professional wrestler in the company. Uh, if that was the first story and it was worded exactly the way that it was, this would have been even bigger. The, unfortunately, um, that first story kind of went away for a little bit for a lot of people. Uh, I, I, I think Dave broke down some more details with you on Saturday when you guys did Observer Radio. Where And I didn't know this, that Vince uh, had met that person in his apartment complex because they lived in the same complex. And he was she wasn't an employee when the relationship began. So right. uh, that kind of changed that story around uh, as far as, you know, not, not public perception, but as far as media attention goes. I think once right. a lot of those details came out, uh, you know, you know how it works. I, I mean, listen, you, you, you have a tremendous background. You've been covering professional wrestling. You, you, you are a fan of radio and you, you get it. And obviously you're close with Dave. You get it once, you know, there's a piece to the story that doesn't fit an easy sell. It, it disappears. And I think that's what kind of happened with this. Um, I... I would say that the second part of the story is much larger than the first. Yes, I agree uh, with you. As far you, as but... the accusation part, the accusation part, but it does surprise me. Yes. Okay, so what do you think? Now, I asked Dave on Wrestling Observer Radio if he thought there was going to be more to this, and the I, I don't know if he necessarily answered the question to say explicitly, yeah, I do, or no, I don't. He kind of said, "Well, those are the NDAs that that they have, or that you know, or that are out there. What would it take, do you think, for the public at large to really grab onto this story? Because there is something here that I think the mainstream media just sort of excuses. No, excuses is a, is, is a bad word. The reason why they don't cover it is because of this thing of." It's just wrestling. It doesn't just really wrestling, matter. Yeah. And Vince McMahon, he has both benefited from that attitude, but also when it comes to, you know, being big time entertainment, that has been used against him. In this scenario, it is definitely used for his benefit because if this happened in the NFL, in the NBA, Major League Baseball, there would be a giant, a bigger outcry than there currently is because right now, according to the public at large when it comes to this story it's just wrestling i mean just think about it this way if it was roger goodell <laughs> you know yeah would this would this have even escalated like to the point that roger goodell stepping down as as the commissioner and is now working on the sidelines as something else that would never happen you know i, I this is a great example i have a friend he works at one of a large media publication uh when this broke, do you know what he sent me? He didn't send me the article they were writing. He wrote, is this real or is this just wrestling <laughs> about the Vince allegations? And I have to tell you, you know, the media has gotten burned so much with, you know, uh, kayfabe-ness uh, and yeah. carniness of pro wrestling. I, I, I swear to you, I think some of it is maybe that. Maybe that it's just wrestling turns into, well, is it real or is it not? I'm not going to waste my time getting worked. You know... I, this is such a complex Especially subject. if you don't know wrestling. If you don't know Vince, you don't know wrestling. You know, you don't know any of this. You just know that it's wrestling. I I, I was shocked when he messed up. I'm like, yeah, of course, dude, it's real. He's like, yeah. oh, okay, I, I didn't know. It just came on my desk. You know, he just saw the email or something. But So uh, you remember when the speaking out allegations started to happen where, you know, Twitter was abuzz with the hashtag speaking out. And I remember doing a wrestling observer radio with dave and he reminded me of of this uh, recently and he said well how can you have this discussion if you're not talking about vince mcmahon now i think the only public thing that was out there about vince was the thing that happened with the massage therapist um that that story is out there you can google that but 
the Vince stories have been around forever about, you know, these types of things and and who was getting pushed and, and not like, you know, we didn't have concrete evidence like like we do with an NDA. But these stories have been out there forever. And like that's that's also a part of this, which is I wonder if this stuff had come out during that time frame when there was more awareness or, or people really wanting to get that word out back then. I wonder if that changes the trajectory of this story. And I wonder if in this scenario, the fact that it is a couple years later uh, is to Vince's benefit again, because people aren't really paying attention to this when, you know, he's probably he probably should have been the person who, who was brought up uh, the most during that speaking out point uh, when, when that happened. Uh, I. You know, but the settlement came around the speak out, uh, around the, you know, just the whole speak out movement, right? I guess maybe prior. When was it? 2018? The Me Too movement was happening already, right? Russell right. got it a little right. bit later, but the settlement came in, in the height of Me Too more than anything else. You know, 2018, 20, I don't know when the conversation started. I would imagine that negotiation went on for a while, but uh, 2018, he settled for seven and a half million dollars. Uh, I, I absolutely right. I think if this was exposed around that time and, and somebody came out and spoke out at that time, it would have been a much bigger deal. Um, I think this is going to be a big deal regardless. I, 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 I do not think he's going to go unfazed. And it's, you know, like as people are discussing his business as usual, I'm hearing that too often, too many times yeah. from people in yeah. WWE. So it really makes me feel like that's kind of like what people have been told to say. Oh, it's business as usual. You know, we're just doing TV and everything is downplayed. But when your chairman and your CEO is accused of uh, coercion of a sexual act, right? We're not forget about let's ignore the first NDA. Let, let's forget about any kind of, uh, you know, consensual relationship. Right. I don't want to fill in the blanks, but we actually do have an answer here. And apparently in the NDA and, and according to the person that, that that got the settlement, this was a coerced act that he did. And that's terrible. Mm -hmm. You know, that that's the part that makes it into such a big deal. Uh, but now you, you, you'll you never know. This person settled seven and a half million dollars, got a payout. And the odds are that they will never speak out about this. You know, I think un unless there is, is another story that Wall Street Journal is working on or maybe somebody else is working on. I kind of wonder if it just ends here. Unless, like I said, somebody else steps up because because the, the one thing that I think could be a little bit of a tipping point for Vince is if it was a wrestler who we know who was part of this, who was a, you know, sort of popular or semi-famous wrestler who comes forward and those allegations are uh, not good for Vince. I think that's what it sort of would take for this story to get bigger. But uh, ultimately, as it is, I mean, you could see um the 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 public outcry for this isn't isn't nearly as big as it was the first time and it does look like based on what vince vince wasn't on tv on smackdown or on raw um i don't believe on raw but it, they they pulled him back a little bit so maybe there's a like a okay like there you know we need to we need to be a little bit more uh conservative on, on how we're flaunting this but from what i understand like it was backstage it was everything was normal nothing was wrong yeah i mean the fact that i think what was it after smackdown appearance he said f him when he went back into gorilla yeah that's know. what uh sean ross sap reported i think but i think yeah. that was after was that that was after the first time the the first, the first story one, right yeah. after the first yeah. story yeah pretty yeah he's a pretty brazen guy um and yeah, and you know I... it, it, it the, the the one thing i will say is sort of related to the company culture the company environment if you are, you know, if there is a female superstar or even a male superstar in a sense that is uncomfortable working there and, you know, wants out. Like, I don't know what Sasha Banks' situation is right now. Like, we've heard all the stories about, you know, maybe her lawyers are involved and such. But this would kind of be the time to be like, look, I'm just not comfortable here. Like, we have a, a head person who has been doing some things uh, that... uh you know, just culturally are, are improper and immoral. And I want out like that. This would be the time to do it, I think, because they're, you know, that that would also 
increase a little bit more awareness. But I don't know. I don't know yeah. how that happens because you know they you're, you're you're talking about folks whose careers are sort of involved in this, and like I don't want to see WWE go down the tubes in any way, like just because of Vince, like because there's so many other people who have jobs and have careers and have families, and like I don't want to see those folks be hurt in this scenario but you know he is the leader you do sort of sign up for some of this stuff when you agree to work for wwe so that that's the the part of this that you know makes me a little yeah, conflicted and, 